Okay, call to order the uh, East Town Planning and Zoning Commission uh, special meeting. Um, what's today's date? June 3rd. Um, June 3rd. Can we have attendance, please? Gray Brownell. Here. James Curtin. Here. Richard Petinelli. Absent. Justin Anderson. Absent. Bernard Gillis. Here. Ed Gubbins. Here. Louis Salakrup. Here. Susan Kinsman. Here. So I'll be sitting for uh, Justin. Okay, where did you guys all leave off at the meeting uh, well, last Tuesday? We, we just discussed the general concept of changing the regs and trying to create a village district with the whole idea of moving, building closer, changing the setbacks, that whole thing. Yep. I asked Jim to get us some meat and potatoes to review, which he did, and we got in our package so we could read some concept of what mm -hmm. we're thinking of doing. And he included some maps as to where, right? So. Okay. Ed, did you uh, and Rich uh, talk? To the commission and tell them why we wanted to do all this. You said that it was the uh, development going up. Right, so we don't make the same same mistakes that happened before. And right. Hopefully, we can curve it before things happen. Okay. Okay, what did you pass out, Jim? So um, I passed out the what I also emailed to everybody is the the present. Well, it's not the present now. It's a revamped um, commercial business light industrial. It kind of takes elements of our existing CBIG, our East Ham Village, a little bit from Simsbury and some of their discussion. Uh, a little bit from Deep River and also some pieces out of our plan of conservation and development. So, did I? Ah, probably why you're lost. Yeah. Yep, there's Rich. Here. You went next door. Here, hand that to Rich when he comes in. And what do you have sitting there? With the, that's the maps. No, the building. <laughs> huh? Oh, this right here, that's at Simsbury. Okay. I also emailed that, but it's 50, 60 pages. In it. Right. Yeah. Oh, so you don't have a copy for all of us? No, no. That's why I figured if you could review it and saw something on it that you liked, because you're definitely not going to sit down and start reviewing it right here. No. That's for sure. Um, that's the agenda for next week, Tuesday's meeting. Okay, thoughts on what we're trying to propose at this time? I, I just drove through the area, and the only thing that concerns me is up by the bank. That's uh, William Palmer. I mean, uh, it's so built up. I mean, there's only probably three lots left on the whole street. It's like, what would we accomplish by changing the way that was? It might look weird. I mean, I don't know. It's like, there's yeah, a, but it's still kind of in that zone, so. It's in the well, zone, but there's only, I mean, they're all kind of brand new buildings, and they're all set back with parking just the way we didn't want it, but it's done. So do yeah. we. Right. Changing the zone so that if they get redeveloped, the potential there is better. I don't know if William F. Palmer is really here to concentrate on the village. Well, that, that's what I'm saying. I, I, the 149 thing, that's all doable because the frontage that we're talking about from there down, that makes sense. There's really nothing there almost. And some of what's there is probably up for redevelopment. But, yeah, I know. But up by the bank, it's like, oh, they're all pretty new, and they're all set up from Jezik's office to the medical center. Jim doesn't highlight that area at all. No, but I, we were talking about that area as do we include any of that in, and that's what I'm saying. It's like, ugh. Well, I, I know I that. Know. I mean. I think it should be included, but I think, like, Jim has it outlined in green here for the main commercial area. I mean, that's what, that's what we're saying. That's what we're kind of yeah. centering, centering on right now. That's our focus, right? Yeah. Because okay. we can't really do everything all at once. 
And, and I'm not sure that you can, to me, if you're going into an area that's already recently newly built up and you're going to suddenly change and there's only like three lots left, what's going to happen? Is that going to look bizarre? Yeah. That's the only concern I had was I looked at that. You know, I, I think what I would like to see is as we get, you know, at least in the short term, we get these new regulations and call for the main commercial area. And maybe that's a separate zone. You know, and that's, that's the area that we really can look at to make a village in. I mm -hmm. don't think we're going to build a village on Joe Williams. No. That's what I'm thinking. It's like but, too far. Know, this isn't going, going up that far. Up no, I I know we were well, we were talking about all those areas hooking a bunch at one point. I, I, right. you know, fine. I, I think I think we want to. I agree. Know, just do the main drag for now and. Well, the, the subcommittee still working. I'd love to be able to get a budget item that we could get a professional in to help us, you know, do this. But in the short term, we got to get out ahead of the things that we know are coming in. Okay. And, you know, that's the, the green district here, the, the, the main commercial area. And I think that's the area that I'd like to see us look at the building, build through lines, the parking requirements, that, you know, sidewalk requirements, encouraging on, you know, uh, outside dining up front and stuff to encourage the village. Uh, again, I don't Basically, think right. they're going to walk down Joe Williams to go to a village thing. No. Right? You know, if you look at the surrounding towns, you know, Chester, Deep River, they're all, you know, less than, they're not a block deep. They're a, a drag, a main road. Correct. Now we have this green on the other side, but we're not going to concern ourselves with that at this point. That's the C3. Right. I'm just, okay, you know, so because, because well, we have the two greens there. What is what is the existing district zone district at? What is so if you go to the first map I print printed, Okay, but it's got the red. Big it's red. got the red. The big red is our existing CDIG. Okay. And the green is the C3. If you go to the next map, I and the only reason I'm kind of stuffed with colors because some colors don't come out, but I should maybe switch just to white the next time. I took out in the middle the main commercial area so that like in East Haddam Village we could do higher use, lower use, that type of breakout, in, you know, how we did it yeah. before, but I wanted to talk about it before I, you know, crammed it all in. So you've got the main commercial area in green. You have the C3 still in green. I also looked at what we have down the hill, which happens to be way off, you know, and still under CBIG. And if it's, you know, if you take a look at the, the next one's the main commercial, if you're mapping which is in white, that covers all of the core, Grist Mill Plaza, Nathan Hill Plaza, everything from the uh, senior housing down, and then the vacant land across. It, it is the real core of, of Moodus. And then now, now, that vacant land across there, uh, let's say where the kind of like where old Moodus ended, and it's right across from kind of your place there. Where the lane used to go down there. Who owns that now? What is what is along, right along here, just across from Wheel and Track? So if you go to the last page, what what is that? So if you go to the la the very last page. It's in purple. So right across from it, it's all steep as hell. It's owned by the town of East Adam because they had to oh. buy it after they got rid of the buildings. Oh, town town owns it. Is that dedicated open space or is that just East Adam land? Yeah, uh, they they've got it down as open space. It was part of the part of the plan of conservation development was to put a corridor. It's it's it. There's a septic system in there for the Seven Eleven, and the rest of it is like that. I mean, it's steep. So where it's, is it's the drop? Where is the septic system? Yeah. <laughs> if you see where it says open space, take the N and the S. Yeah. A there's a leaching top. field in that little flat spot. There. Okay. And then there's all the drainage runs through it down the hill from the whole center because they grabbed everything and ran it through it. And at the base of it is the Moodus River. And then if you look at the rest of it, if it says SFH, it's single family home, multifamily, a duplex, single family home and a farm. And then the one that says vacant is way up the hill. It goes through, and it is actually is a driveway to Dave Carey's. He owns both pieces. 
Yeah, so I also said if we we're going to do some house cleaning, maybe these things that don't have any real commercial viability ought to be just... Yeah. Well, well, let me ask you this. Um, um, across from where your, your house is, when you go all the way to the, uh, uh, looking at this map, all the way to the left-hand side... <laughs> to help a non-native, where exactly is your, your house? house. Uh, right on the other side of the um, uh, Moodus River, going through... Your family house. That's right, S-S-F-H. S Right. Okay. So let's let, let, let me put it this way. Right. See where see where Brown Ellen Company is. Yeah. Okay. Right next. To it. Coming out towards us. There's that flat area that's outside of. Yeah. Bernstein's old. So. Correct. Correct. Now that is a viable place. Um, this where the. Where Bernstein's on the other side of where my my backyard was. Well, that actually, believe it or not, there is a house underneath all those trees. <laughs> You're talking about no. I'm talking oh, you're talking about that flat spot right area. there. Yeah, in the red area right oh, here. The, oh, that's a that's what I was saying. To me, something. Yeah, but the, the corner's wicked there. There's no sight line. There's nothing. Well, well you not got a road right across from it too. That you bad, that's a valuable road. A I know, but you you. Well, well I'm just saying it, so there there is that lot there. It's all Do you gravel. see where I'm talking about, Rich? But I think it. Yeah, you want to yeah. make sure that uh, Rich knows. You see that little jog in the red line right here. here. <laughs> okay, that's a flat area. All I'm saying is, you know, and then this is very, very steep. This is where the old Moody Center was. The, the town owns it in open that's space. Town of East Adam open it's, space. It's always been treated. Correct, but we also could incorporate it as a as a park or something as time goes on if you start to develop it. You know? I always thought there's at least one site. Um, because this this is a huge lawn there. Where, you could put a septic system. It's got to be, I mean, it's high and dry. And <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. What's that? I said we have four conversations at the same time. Yep. You got okay. that all right? I did. I captured it all. Got it all. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's going to happen, unfortunately. That's okay. I have a question. Is this new district, is this going to be called C3 also? Do you agree? I, I would almost say just to make everybody's life easier, switch it over to Moody's Commercial District, just so people know what in God's name we're talking about. You mean the lower green area? Is that what you're saying? Change C3? No, no. The no. C3, you know, could stay that way for that now. Remains, yeah. But for, for the CBIG, it's just easier to say Moody's Center District. Where just the white is on this map. Oh, that. Because that's basically what we're, we're we're concentrating on right now. We're calling that the main commercial area. So if I understand this correct, Nathan Hill Plaza and the Bush Mill be part of the town as, as, as the first step. Yeah. Um, main commercial. Area. Main commercial. Area. Is it more restrictive than it is now? No. I, I don't know if it's. I, I think we want to look at the use. Right. I, I'm not. Again, you don't walk past, you know, I'm going to walk to the, well, you do walk to the service station when your car is broken, but other than that, it isn't the place that I go to, the shop. Mm -hmm. And we want to promote, I think we want to promote shopping here. Yes. So I think we want to look at the uses, and then I think it really is, is you know, setbacks and, 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 and actually expanding the uses. We want to allow them to do residential or office in the second. We want to encourage them to build a second. So the answer to my question is, it, it will be more restrictive. In some ways, and less restrictive than others. Actually, I think actually it'd be more allowable, Correct. especially if you, you're trying to promote second floor use and office Correct. and residential, it expands it. Because I, I know the uh, pharmacy owner, he heard wind of this, and he was like, God, if I could get a second floor where, where he built a new pharmacy, that would be the, he would I, be so I, happy. I just uh, want to make sure this will pass the, the Smith test for spot one. I'm sorry, blue spot zoning. No, it's too big for a spot no. zoning. Yeah, I mean it's huge. Yeah, I mean, I mean you're going from the Seven Eleven all the way to the all of the week. Oh, you're talking the white. Yeah, go to go to this map. Yeah, yeah. So so you just think about that, Lou. When we broke out the East Adam Village, we broke out that into four distinct pieces. Where just the town piece, the Goodspeed Opera House, the Galston House, and a couple of accessory properties in the side, 
They don't have to convince me. Actually, okay, so that, so, but that, that the guy you have to they're subsets, so it's you here. You have an attorney just. Yep, yep. Well, well, we probably will, well, right? Yeah, we've got to. One of the things the subcommittee has been discussing is actually extending the what we're calling main commercial area down to the senior center housing area. Eventually, yeah. Right. But I think now we want to just concentrate on this because of some things that might be coming down the pike. Well, yeah, and not only that, I mean, these are clearly the areas. Gristmill is really an area that could be redeveloped at any moment. Right. We know they're doing stuff, but it's because it's the old lumber yard. Nathan Hill Plaza has been around for now over 50. So that's really up yeah. for change anyway. And then, you know, when you're looking at the, we know Nutmeg's talking about building in that vacant lot. That's, I mean, this is... Yeah. It's going to make a difference here. That's where I was saying that I don't know. I mean, you know, you could include it, but but then what does it do? I mean, like he just came in for that addition. Every inch of that lot's done. Okay, he hasn't built that addition. He has a second no, they're break, they broken ground. They broke ground on that addition already. Yeah. Yeah, so where do you stop if you if you jump up another building lot? Yeah, Nino's is next. Then there's another lot, and then there's another lot. And then the hairdresser's next after yeah. that. Right. The bank's across the street. Right. I mean, that's what Jim Curtin's point was. It's like, where do, where do you draw a line here? Well, only that that's so built up there, there's only a few lots could possibly be built, and it seems like it might be looking weird if you suddenly move somebody out to the edge of the street. I'm not against doing all this stuff. I'm just saying in an area that's already kind of newly built up. That you're never going to add anything much it's to. It's going to look kind of out of place. All of a sudden, there's one up near. It's not like you got in that. Whereas the rest of the areas, I think, you know, I think that's a good thing to do in these areas, and everybody would love to see it. Jim, Jim I, again, I go back to open space because to me that. I'm going to check the deed tomorrow. It'd be nice if we can take it to the, to the river there. I agree. And take you know, what? You go loop in Brownells. And, mm -hmm. Well, eventually, yeah. Um, okay. Well, and that's, you know, because Brownells is kind of industrial. You know, industrial. I mean, it's 80,000, so that'll be something discussion wise because it's. Oh, yeah, we have, to, we have to allow it. Well, it's existing. Yeah, now. so that's why I kind of said if we do the main, that kind of leaves it out. I, and that's I would love to see that, that open space parcel. Oh, God, cool. yeah. Because it just, you know, that, that's like your music. I, I mean, then it just. Weeks. Yeah. I, I think you really need to take a walk along there and take. You can't put anything there. You, you, you can. No. No. You take can. take a look. I, you can. Trust I, me. I know it's steep. <coughs> you, you know, is, is it going to be the first parcel developed? No. But Where, where's my septic going? It ain't going in the river. <laughs> you need to walk it. I'm just asking you to walk it. Think you know, about it as an access point, uh, you know, I'm thinking about a walkway, a, a park, a gazebo. Think about it as a main view shed coming down onto, you know, down street. That's, that's what you want to see. You want to you want to see something there. It, it then conveys the message that things are going out. Mm -hmm. uh, never going to work, but that's just my <laughs> I like it. <laughs> you like it what? To develop it? To include it. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I'll but we remember it, too. Yeah, I know, and that's why... Uh, you think it can't be done? Anything can be done. It's just money. That's really the only thing right. that stops we'll anything. Develop, uh, no, it, it can be done. Mm -hmm. Now the way I'm seeing it is that we're looking at this as a whole CBIG, right? Yes. yes. We're just looking. The white part is just we're, we're just concentrating on that right now. Right. Well, right now we're so, people are trying to figure out the boundaries of it, too. Well, that's, I thought this was already our boundaries that we were going to keep, minus the, the residential right. over here. But do we want to do one overlay zone onto the CBID, the red, that restricts uses that we might want? You know, again, so the main, our main concern is the main commercial area, right? So I, I'm thinking it's, it's maybe two. Zone where the overlay might be a CBIG, but in here we, we, we specify more of the uses that we want, less of the uses we don't. We don't want a car dealership, per se, in here, or an auto shop, but it'd be okay if somebody like that wants to move into a Grinnell or something. So, like this, I think, is the area, we, again, with the things we know are going on in town, mm -hmm. this is the area I think we want to concentrate on and get ahead of. Well, one of the things that I just read today is Liberty's closing a bunch of branches. 
This is not on the list. Let's move it down. But it's not on the stay open procedure. Hmm. That was <laughs> it's the only bank in town. It doesn't make it. Yeah. No. Because uh, we stopped before, yeah. But it's included in the CBIG, the red outline CBIG. Mm-hmm. I mean, now you've got, as Jim said, you've got a cadence of all the buildings already in place, and most of those are 1975 plus. Yeah, at least they're, you know, they're not near the end of their life, and some of them are relatively new. And even the fire department just added on. I mean, it just goes from one yeah. to the next. And yeah, but that, that, but then on the other time, if this kind of takes off, someone could always come in and buy the property and tear down what's there and start over. Especially if you're giving them the option of putting apartments and or businesses on top. I mean, the bank, I mean, they could tear it down, put a big, another bank, but with, you know, law offices on top and or, an, I doubt you put an apartment, but, you know, other uses on top. So it gives them that, that any investor well, that you option. Could still, you could still leave those options, but you could not change the frontage and the build to line so they can keep their structures so they look good but you can give them them options so i know you know there's no problem with saying okay it can be commercial and then have multi-family above mm -hmm. yep. it just you don't you don't force them to in a reconstruction to all of a sudden you have three houses or three structures like this and you say well now you got to go to build to line and you're all the way up here when it's already kind of set with lawns and trees and landscaping and a, and a sidewalk so the other thing we also have to be concerned about is allowable uses. Yeah. So if we're pushing for commercial transaction spaces and we move in the bank to, you know, now and put it into the main commercial area, then we have to put banks in, right? And do or or we're gonna, you know, basically zone it out once they leave. As an as a as an allowable use. use. Right. And do we want that on one forty nine? I, I would think, think so. You don't? No, I think where it is is good. I, I, I really want to see, you know, shops on 140. Right. And, and again, a bank, you know, hours stink. They're not open at 7 at night when we want people to be walking along and enjoying their ice cream or something. Mm -hmm. it's, it's dark, dead space. Okay. But they're fine where they are. So do we leave it alone? It's what you're saying. Leave it alone, and, and then you know maybe in stage two of this discussion, correct? We talk about you know changing the CBIG loan zone to allow them to do a second floor or something, and you know be a little more relaxed with setbacks and stuff, so they can use their existing buildings, and then we can open up you know the allowable uses there. But you know my personal is I'd like to see commercial stores. Thoughts? So, Jim, what's the format here? You're the town planner. You map this out. You put in the uh, allowable uses. Is that is that? Well, yeah. I mean, I, I, I need to hear from you guys what you think. You know, I'm hearing it and I'm listening. Yeah. So I'm jotting it down. So, you 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 write a table of uses for the main commercial, and then the rest gets to keep what they have, or you adjust it. And that's why I kind of said we got to talk about that too. And adjust it, and also for the main for the main commercial, you kind of you know we got to come up with a you know frontage and a build to line, yeah, all the a, a parking back you know setback line things like that that seem reasonable or at least we can discuss and over the weekend look at, so you got an idea of what we're talking about. Um, Initially, you mentioned having maybe a two tiered or a three tiered system. So the two within the zone. Right now, you could have a two tier with just the main commercial, which is that. First, the green inside, and we have and to then, determine what the and then are. everything else, you know, and you can expand. You get the same time you can expand the uses on the on the outside along with the inside. Okay, I mean, so so if you like, you say, you know, in, in one tier, you're saying on that chart, you're saying financial, you know, where we've got business professional office of financial sewage insurance. In the main, it would say second floor only. In the outside. Be anywhere it wants. Okay. 
Is that kind of what you're looking yeah. at? Yeah. And uh, while we're all in the room, are we? Do we agree on cutting out that section of uh, the vacant land uh, and the housing on your street from this zone? Well, from that's something we can agree on and move forward with. I just like to see that included with the white lines that we have. I'm, I'm good with the, the white lined area. Just add that strip along the river, and I'm. Well, let me see if it's deed restricted. Yeah, if it's it deed restricted, be. then we're done. Yeah, it anyway. So well, it depends how the it depends how they've used the money to buy it with. I, I just yeah. Because it's a state statute, maybe that won't let you use that land now for anything. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. So you want to extend that it? That would fit right into Moody's. So you want to extend it down to the old Bernstein property? Yeah, to include where it was, that. Yeah. and all the way down. Yeah, to include that to the yeah. lagoon. Yeah, and the just river. include this, and maybe it can't be done. Maybe only one parcel can be used, but whatever. Okay. How far down are you going with that? Well, you got to go to the that includes Center that Bernstein of the river. property because that's the only spot that I'm sure you can use. Bernstein's property. That is that corner piece that I was showing showing you. You'd have to Jim play. knows where. I all the way down to the. Yeah, let me get this down. It's yeah, right here. It would be this, right to this. The, the red house on Main Street is right here. Yeah. This is the backyard of it. You want to include that? No, just to this. No, this just is the to town, because that's privately owned. Okay. I mean, you could go to the red house, but. Well, well that's under the CBIG, anyways, right now. Yeah. But you know that's a it, that is a residence and that is, is that, a historic how, house. Yeah, how is that on the registry or not? Uh, it could be if they wanted to put it there, because the front of it is still original. Unless they, well, they could have changed it to new owners. So you're saying what's in uh, what's in white or green and on, on the big map, and then include that this script. open space area. You get the river. You don't have to pick the road. Well, yeah. You don't have to pick the lagoon that's there. <laughs> and if Jim finds out, oh, there's a lagoon there. Yeah, it goes to the old the uh, upper lot. mill that's there. Was the power source off the, the next lot after the uh, the open space area, right? Yeah, where it says open space, that strip just along the road. Yeah. Not interested in the back areas or anything. We're not knocking Jim's house down. We're not doing that. The original plan was that was it was going to get knocked out. It was going to be a park. The whole thing was going to be a park. Really? Yep. They're going to knock the house down and so make it a park. Buying, buying places and knocking them. Down. Yeah. And if Jim comes back and says that we can't do that because it's uh, it's deeded, it might deed restricted. Yeah. Uh, well, do we, we just exclude. live with that uh, main commercial area? Well, we'll have to move forward with here. that. Okay. okay. At least for now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uses would be the next thing. Right. Yep. So if we're talking about the center bisque center, bis center part, automobile would be not there. Beauty Barbershop, second floor, or? or yeah, we're on page two of your Those would be all right, right. In, I mean, to have on a main. I know. Just, okay. Just stay in age people. You yeah. can't be too picky if you know what Okay. Yeah. Uh, business and special office, second floor. Floor. Okay. Childcare service. What was that? Childcare. That should be in, out just in the That's CBIG. Right. Yeah. Not in the business district. In the C3, yes. In the C3, yes. Yeah, in the central business district. I don't know. Like, you have a historic house and there's a CBIG down here. No. I mean, well, that's outside of the. That's outside of the. Talking about the weight. Yeah, we're talking about the. Yeah. But there's nothing there now. They're all taken down. Yeah. All the places they can do that. Plains Road, but not there. Greenhouses. Well, the only thing about what we're laying out is the far back of that old Moody Slumber property 
some of these things could probably be okay, but maybe we should just distinguish that they can't be on the frontage or something. But I mean, it'd be good. You know, you don't want to rule out like maybe somebody wants to do some work with something. There's warehouse space back there. There's a big area back there. Isn't you putting a storage back there yet? Well, that was the plan, but I don't, we haven't seen it. Right? Yeah. I don't know. With the greenhouse and nursery, you might want to consider that. Look at um, uh, Comstock in Old Wethersfield. It has that store front, which is a huge attraction to people. Um, yeah. And um, it's a big business. Okay. There's enough space. Every corner of the space. But if you have that existing warehouse there, um, you know, they, that might be an attractive with a retail front and you have the greenhouse to, you know. Yeah. So uh, what would you say, rear lots only or something for something like that? Is mm -hmm. that how you would, what do you say? Uh, well, I think, I, I think if we were to get something like that, we still want the building up front, right? Uh, you know, right. Think right. of Alex moving down here. The building's still front. It gets, a, you know, Alex gets a lot of people in and out of the building, and then they go out to the yard behind it. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Well, fine. Let's just keep it then, right? Retail trade, definitely. Yeah. the The lumber thing had me a little concerned because that's outside storage, probably. I mean, yeah, it used to be a lumber yard, but are you want to Correct. go back to that? I don't think so. Mm, don't. No, we have other places now. That doesn't seem like you're going to want pallets of lumber there anymore, right? I mean, What's the consensus? No Hardware is different. I mean, that's all another story. Carolyn accessory jewelry, all those are good, right? Bakery, yeah, I could go for that. I'd love to have a bakery. <laughs> oh, you want to eat breakfast too? So we're keeping hardware but eliminating lumber? That was what I was thinking. Yeah. How about sporting goods? That would be good. Yeah, I think that. Outfitters. I, I think once you say retail, it opens up. as long as it's not illegal. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's nothing that is illegal anymore, is there? Uh, Okay, we have laundry. So if I'm learning to sell hardwood lumber or something, that would be retail. So, you know, I mean, why strike lumber? There's no outside storage. Yeah. yeah that. Okay. We can caveat the lumber. No outside storage. Fine. I'm good with that. Funeral homes? Okay. That on the outside? Yeah, yeah. that's where it was. <laughs> I mean, that, that really isn't the like, yeah. like, <laughs> No, but I mean, let, let's say Colchester's got it right on the main drag in a historic looking building. I mean, yeah. Yeah, but we don't, I, I, you know, the, the problem, we can't compare to Colchester or to, to like Essex or something all the time because we lost it in a sense. Yeah. Like, so what do we want to build back? We want to, if there was an old house still there, yeah. Good use for it. There's not. So there's no dying in Lutus, okay. No dying in Lutus. Well, not in the <laughs> area. They just want you to pay taxes forever. How do funeral homes handle hazardous waste? Burn it. <laughs> I don't know. They have their whole system. <laughs> no, no, they, no, they, I'm no, sure they no, like that all, that all is. Very good. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. you've got to be all licensed, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's, that's highly the regulated. That's the same issue with laundry and dry cleaning. Yeah. Those are all solvents and um, hazardous waste, too. Well, we already have a uh, cleaner. Yeah. We got a hazardous so waste. Do it on, on site or both? No, I can say. I don't know. Yeah. A little of both. Most dry cleaners ship it off now. Yeah. It's they, impossible to get an on-site permit. Yeah. Well, look, wasn't it down here at the one that we had over here that they can't? Isn't that That's the dry well, cleaning? It's not that, that why it's, it's not that they can't. Nobody has dug a hole to find out what's there. But they did it on site. They did it on site that, for okay. decades. That's, that's what I, oh, yeah. right. The old Fox cleaners down there. Do you know what we're talking about? Do we need to draw a map? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Where the old, um, oh, he always says that because of. 
we all know where everything is because we grew up here. Go for a ride sometime. <laughs> where the old Cumberland Farm was. And yeah, drop them off in orders. Yeah, but at least there I could ask directions. <laughs> um, what's the intersection there? 149 and 151. Yeah. Over. Yes. Yep. Yeah. That's why it's so boarded up because it drives there. Nobody touches Well, they were doing those sales. Exactly. He's tag sailing stuff. He's yeah. I mean, that ruined several wells in the area, so that's in deep. Ooh. It did, huh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dilution's okay. the only answer to that, unfortunately. Right? Uh, medical facility on the outskirts. and. Yeah, but not in the central business, right? Yeah. Okay. So what's our verdict on Long Beach? Do I actually know it yet? The consensus. I say yes. I mean, that's sort of. We have one, but yeah. If, if you're living in an apartment, you don't have a washer and dryer. You well, it's just to do one that in the central, or are we okay with that in the CBIG? Kind of there now. Yeah. Well, no, nothing that we're doing here, I would, I would keep zoning them out. They just can't build them there. You're trucking. I mean, especially if you don't have a vehicle. I mean, you're trucking your laundry down on a walk outside. It's more, most likely going to be a, a laundromat. More than a dry cleaner. And, and it would be great if we got to that point. You know, Tim, what, what kind of septic do you need for a for sun one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't. I mean, there won't be any laundromats in Moody's because those aren't good enough. You don't think they can handle it over by Grisville? That's all sand, right? I, I don't think anybody's going to want to invest that much septic so. for that it, type it, of use. It's yeah. just so much easier to say city sewer. It's, it's gigantic. Which I mean, I don't, see, see. I don't see anybody putting them where out where if you don't have a sewer connection. Well, you have to get enough water to I mean, it's, it's a lot of everything. Yeah. The septic is huge. Car washes recycle the water. What does? Car washes. Yeah. Oh, they're they're yeah. doing it. Yeah. So I don't know why I want to. We had a oh, car wash. They, but car wash. This is all they do with the car wash. The one across. There used to be a car wash at Seven yeah. Eleven. Yeah. So you came through and they rinse your your car. With the previous guy's wash, just to get wetted up, and that's what was sudsed up, and then that went into the septic system, and then you got rinsed one more time clean, and that went into the tank for the next guy's wash. Really? So it's a recycling, but it's only recycling is half that, of it. Is that the current standard? Uh, no, 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 I don't think Some so. Some of them are really. I mean, they. Recycle the water. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. That's, that's well, anything more would be some kind of treatment system. I'm sure there's yeah, something like you could buy, but it would be. Yeah, a, it's one thing to, to wash my car with somebody else's water. 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 It's quite another to wear yeah. my shirt after your wash. <laughs> no offense, but. <laughs> 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 <don't want> fresh <laughs> water. <laughs> Plus, you don't want that in the groundwater, and it's so close to the river, you don't want that in the watershed. Yeah. Okay, so what are we thinking here? Strike it. Strike okay. laundry? Yeah. Okay. Or, I mean, you could leave it in if someone can make it work, but. Okay. I'm just thinking about down in the deep river, they have that small little laundry. Yeah, but they have city sewer. But they got sewers. Yeah, they got gas, water, sewer, everything right there. Uh, okay, so. We yeah, agreed. That's something we want to revisit when we look at the CBIG because it's true. If we're going to open up residential in this area to apartment dwellers, then getting right. a laundromat might work. I don't know if we want that on 149. Right. So an outlining, outliner. Right. Okay. So you can put that in the, the village district so where you can tie it want, to right? the that sewage one? treatment plant. We would like that. Direct them that way. Yeah. We could use the, uh, use the user. Yeah. Okay, multifamily and upper story sections of proposed commercial building. Medical facilities out? Uh, it's it was a, on the outskirts. It's on the outskirts. That's what they're yeah. just That's shifting. Right. We're talking about the core here. Yeah. Um, everyone's okay with uh, multifamily uh, upper that's story? All, that's already in there. It allows, it allows you, it, really what we have now is um, 
it, we've got it as an accessory use. So now here it's now here we've kind of listed it as so they can really see it and not get lost in the sauce. Should we also add in that line? Uh, well, I just don't want to make you know, make sure that you know other commercial uses can be used up on the second floor yeah. also. That'll be up top when we go to business and professional. Well, well uh, that was see that's kind of why I, like, I said we need to talk. Why don't you just say this. publishing? Hmm? Publishing yeah. or print printing establishments. Publishing, okay. Used to be quite the business. Yeah. Well, things have changed. I mean, the way they oh, God, yeah. do stuff now. So. Oh, good shop. Now we're getting to the essentials package store. No. But if it's already there, if it's already there, we're yeah. not. Nothing we it's can grandfathered in. Yeah. Right. So. Well, we, we don't have, and, and a new place can come in and occupy that building. Right. So they can't build in it. And everything after that is okay. <coughs> Well, the what was the, the uh, insurance was second floor, right? Yeah. yeah. So before we turn the page, you struck the child daycare services or something, didn't you? Yeah. To the outer part, yeah. Yeah. Well, again, I think we're just looking at the central business. Yeah, the central, right? And we struck laundry, medical facilities on the outskirts, and then we changed to multifamily is good, but publishing or print. Yeah, that's good. Publishing print. Bookstore. Well, that's retail, so. Package store. Yeah, because there's still one more, I believe. There's still one more permit? There's one more permit. No. Yes, sir. There's three in this town. And it's it's swing virtual. We lost one? Huh? We lost one? There used to be four. I last I heard it was three. Okay. So we lost one. Yeah, I think we might have. Okay. Based so, on, yeah, because I think you got to get past 10,000 to get the next one up. Oh, we had a hell of a lot less people than that, and we had four, oh, four they liquor gave, stores. They gave, they gave it out to everybody back then, though. <laughs> it was well, convenient. No, drinking age was 18. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I, yeah I know. <laughs> I know. Anyway, okay, so, well, it's permitted, so because yeah, somebody, permitted. yeah. Yeah, I mean, one could come up, so you never know. Yeah, I mean, if Swingbridge was to close, right? And somebody wanted. Oh, to... here's somebody who would know. Package stores. How many package stores are allowed in in East Adam right now? You can only have three. Three. Okay. So <laughs> you've got your maximum that are in there right now. Okay. How does Santa Bell sell here? Grocery. How does Santa Bell sell? They're that's, working on a different license. That's grandfather. Beer license only. So that's a grocery yeah. license. He can sell wine too, right? Beer and wine or just beer? It, just, I don't it think depends it. on what your application calls for. Okay. But basically, it's a, you know, a convenience store. It's a beer application. Okay. I know he doesn't sell wine, but other than that. So we'll leave that in there, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. because somebody may shift okay. into that area. And that's fine. Uh, photographic services. Dance studio, schools, health and fitness. Why'd you highlight uh, health and fitness? Because I added it because we didn't have it there and we it wasn't on there. Yeah. Oh wow. Even though we ha allow it. Yeah, because it's 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 all in that same you know yeah. oh, I mean, things. I, you know, I, I think that's that's okay. Okay. That's people like to see people work out and okay. Nothing wrong with that. I think they had one in here, didn't they? In the in the uh, slumber area. That was a, a fitness club. Yep. Okay, place of worship, religious institutions. We've got that in there, too. <laughs> i got to check that. I don't think we can. I, I'll check the RUPLA laws. Yeah. I don't think we can. Yeah. Anywhere. Yeah. Public facility, so the town could have a facility there. Or the and state. that's why, that's kind of the reason. I, I'm thinking no in the center, but you know, you got the fire department and the other, so it would be like yes on no on the center. And, huh? Yeah. 
like any So is that public center. facilities? Is that a yes, or do we put you out, out to the... What do we... I, I don't picture the town coming in and saying, I want prime real estate. Right. Yeah. 149, so I think that's right. harmless. Okay. Real estate office? Yeah, but would a, um, would a bathroom, public bathroom, be a, a public right. facility? I, I, think, I think we can leave it in. Because, again, I don't think... Yeah. You know, I don't think coming in saying, hey, we're going to take the Moodus Plaza. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Firehouse. Yeah, there's and that's a firehouse ours. there, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. No, uh, okay. What Real they do will be complimentary, I would hope. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got to pay 50 cents. Real estate. Yep. We talked about that, but yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, people, you know, when they're strolling, like to look. Window shop. I don't think there's, I think repair services are outliers. Well, but. Right now, we have a repair no, service. I mean, computer repair. Don't or? they still have the generator service? Again, no, they're, they're gone. Yeah. Yeah. Do I, do I, yeah. you know, That's like, more oh, manufacturing, really, really what he or did. Or he yeah. yeah. Um, repair services. So, is that a yes? I think that's a yeah. I think that's. Um, in the. Okay. Okay. The small engine is kind of a messy operation. Right, but in the out, outer part. Yeah. Okay. In the outer part. Okay. And do we. Is there anything here for antiques? Yes. Yeah, yeah. on retail. Yep. Yeah. Retail. 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 The first page. No, they can't give use variances. We stopped them from doing that in the 60s, 70s. <laughs> Just deal with height, distance. So that just it seems like there's, there's so much area back there that can be used for... For greenhouse. Yeah, greenhouse, small engine repair. You know, you got... Small engine repair gets noisy. Isn't there residential back there? Well, we, we said on the outskirts, or... You could, we could say outskirts or back lots or something like that, where it's obviously in the back somewhere. Well, we don't care, but we certainly don't want to discourage. Uh, hey, a business is going to pay some taxes. Good idea. Yeah. How would you break that out, Jim? I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Sort of like if you look down there, commercial self storage, 150 feet set back from the front line. We already established that as part of our regulations. Right. We don't want that on the, on the street. Right. It's all right in the district. So if I had a repair facility or something. So it would be yes, but yes, but off the road. <clears throat> Restaurants? Yes. Yes. What about a drive through? Good. So <laughs> before you. In this day and age, I think you got to say, it's, you know. I mean, one everywhere. of the biggest things about drive throughs is that. Garbage. Well, that, but that's, but the real thing is having them put together a solid plan and traffic study showing their stacking. That is the big bugaboo with them. Stacking. Stacking of cars mm -hmm. getting into the, into the queue. I, I could see it in, on Bridge Street in Kyleville, that Dunkin' Donuts lefts, rights. That yeah. line is sometimes stacked and, up That's and, the same thing in Westchester. The line is, you know, like a Saturday morning, that line is almost out to the street, and that's the, big. The other thing with drivers is you have to have a drive on both sides. You have to get in on one side of the building, in move the car around, yeah. and out on the other side. Sorry. So that's 40 feet, actually more like 50 feet of non-driveway uh, space in what we're trying to promote as a village. I don't think it fits. I don't think it fits in, in our concept mm -hmm. or our vision here. I, I'm okay with not having it. I know... And personally, I, I, I know whenever I've designed a drive-thru, I hate it. Because I know the pharmacy happen. might be looking for a drive through But they can under our regs right now. They can? They can? Who is okay, it? Yeah. that's fine. Because okay. well, we, 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 we have here restaurants accept drive through as an accessory use. So that, that's been there before I was here. I mean, that's been there for decades. So it only applies to restaurants because the restaurants are the ones that always have the stacking. And so well, you know, while we have the you know the curbside pickup and stuff, that's probably going to stay. It is, but 
you know, again, where we're looking here in the central business district, do we really want a Dunkin' Donuts there, or do we want another La Vida or something? Well, what you want and what you can get might be two different things. That's the only thing I... I think you address it by way of curb cuts because you want to eliminate curb cuts along 149, particularly if you're talking about putting in islands to, to slow traffic, and then DOT is going to be involved anyway. So um, that's one way to do it. If they want to convert the old Cumberland Farms down on the corner, I don't know if um, you at least have access to the road there, but up in the central district, I don't. So is that a no and a, and a maybe? I mean, no, you know, on the outside? Drive through the in, or in the central business. Right? No one is central. No one is central. That's well, clear. Yeah, no, I think they're okay. I, well, like them, but I, think they're okay. I, I just want to clarify this. The, the drive through you can have them for a bank or for a pharmacy. Yep. It's only a restaurant that we It's only the rest. Have. It's been that way forever. It's so, only. so you can come in with an application for a bank, or you can come in with an application for the pharmacy and have a drive in. Yes. A yep. Because yeah. for, for those, they're totally a necessity thing. I mean, you're not going to have a bank without one. You're not yeah. going to have a pharmacy without one. Well, and you think about it, the old bank had one that okay. was up there. I mean, you know. Right. Well, they both did. I mean, basically, yeah. Liberty yeah. has one, and uh, the old Chester Bank has. Yeah, but isn't the stacking issue the same for no. those businesses? No, not not for banks. No. <laughs> really? Yeah, nowhere near. Nobody's got money. Well, I've, seen Liberty, <laughs> I've seen Liberty. I've seen Liberty back up five cars. It is. Bridge Street, when everybody jumps trying to get into the bank. Yeah, well, that's set right. up. Well, that that's set up wrong. But there's a different bridge, standard there. Bridge, bridge Street, that's they should put that window all the way to the end of the building so that you could get six cars in. They have it They have it set up so it's your three cars and you're done. Yep. I never use that window. If I walk in, it's easier. I <laughs> okay, commercial self storage building. I think we're okay at 150 feet back. We okay. can those big buildings, we don't want Yeah, that we just yeah. took care of. And we're going to keep them in the central business district because yeah. it's all part of the lumber yard. You know, that's what we're thinking. Yeah. Okay. And that's probably the only place that that will even come into play. You know, under the current right, well, system. Brownell could, you never know, so down the road. Brownell was this one right now. Right? Yeah. Correct. That's our site. Okay. Theater. Theater, motion perch. Okay. Leave it or? Yeah. Who well, knows? Yeah. Okay, you could get a small one. Uh, like yeah. Dianic has that small one. Yeah, right on Main a, Street there. Or yep. Uh, Wholesale trade. trade. What do you mean by that? Hell, if I know that's in your old regs. Okay. Well, I one, mean, we do have it right there, that old wheel and track building. That's uh, the Valk or Leonard Valk. Yeah, they're just wholesalers. They, right? They're wholesalers, manufacturers. Yeah. The, the one yeah. up next to the, the metal building, building next to the hilltop. Yeah. Yep. Barbecue joint. The one I can tell you, but I, you know, yeah. What is that? What did, what did they do there? I, I can tell you they got there. they supply like uh, pumps uh, and um, sumps and all kinds of stuff, but only to uh, they only sell it to uh, you know, uh, supply houses. Yeah, retail outlets. Okay. Uh, that's I not a, not now. Okay. And we're not zoning them out, but if the pharmacy comes in across the road, there's a restaurant there. It's prime space for redevelopment. And yes. That valve space goes under. Do we want another valve company moving in? It, they can, though. You can't zone it out. You can't right? zone it out, but we, we can not, not encourage, include it. Right? Correct. Yeah. I, I think wholesale is outside of central business. That's my opinion. I would agree with you. Wholesale is not something you want in your central. You want activity. Right. Excuse you me. Want a truck. Can you identify yourself for the record? Yes, but Thank I you. <laughs> well, people are observing this, and this is a uh, public hearing or a public meeting of our commission. And you are an ex officio member of uh, member of the uh, Economic Development Commission, but you are not a member of PNC. So. Yeah. But I did call on him. Already, but, so but I just asked right. him to identify himself for the record. And I will do that. Thank you. Yeah, I think you raise a good point. That if uh, if uh, that vacant lot becomes walkable, then uh, it certainly would be in part of that. So, what would we do with wholesale trade outskirts? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I think the same goes with light industrial. Yeah. Yeah. 
So, Mr. Mueller, you're only allowing motion picture projections? No, I think that was an addition. Theater. Oh, that was just a, a we don't even have motion picture projections anymore. <laughs> I kind of highlighted that because I could just leave it at theater and cross the rest out. So, flipping back to the side. That's why I put the question marks. Yeah. To the where? To the side. If we're talking multi story now, a square footage doesn't cover. You want a four area ratio. Well, the question is, is do you want them to build one big building or you want them to build a series of buildings that has that's a village look? Huh? That's, that's the footprint. footprint. Yeah, that's just the footprint. Well, that's why you need, I mean, if you really are concerned about the square footage of the building, which we shouldn't be, you look at the floor area ratio. Right? Three stories in my floor total up to X. I, have, I can do so many square foot per the area of a lot. Yeah, it's like 20, 30, 000 square feet once you build up. Right, but your, yeah, but your area ratio is restricted. Um, so what are we saying? Can we have a less or keep it away? Well, I think we're looking at, you're talking about building square, about first floor, first foot, footprint. Footprint. footprint, just footprint. That's how uh, I grabbed that from what we have in the uh, four corners, the IG right now. We get, we get architectural review allowed here. Yes. Right? Yeah. So we could require them to change the, if you could build a 20,000 square foot building, and we could require variance in the facade that gives you the illusion it's a bunch of little buildings put together. Right? That's a, that's a, that's going to be a, you know, that, that's a tougher one to argue than a hard number saying do this. Because, you know, then we're going to have the debate. Well, I, I gave, gave you different facades, and you just don't like it. But I think it's okay. Unless we go and make a whole slew of architectural standards, and then, you know, we could steal from some community. Um, it, it's, it's almost, you know, it's, I, it's easier to say we're looking to design this. I mean... You know, with the, with the way the fire code is now, I mean, you're, you're looking, if, if they want to do a big project, let's say they come in with a big project and they want to create some sort of village look and then have shops and stores and everything lined up and residential above, to have them leaving those little alleyways in between of, of a whopping 10 feet, because that's what the fire code is, um, not the end of the world. Um, it's just that, you know, once you get that, 30,000 square foot building all in a row. We could break it down from square footage or something. Anything over 10,000 may have to do something else. I mean, can't we word it that way? Because you are, if you go to like 30,000 square feet, that is one big. big no, I just wrote it out. You know, I, I'm just saying, even 10,000, as I was looking at one of the, I don't see it right in front of me. But don't forget, we have architectural review and we're going to be looking for things to all right. fit together and look well, nice. We, or we may, we may be saying we may want architectural uh, drawings that give us this small village look or something, we may generalize kind of so that the architect can go let them do it. I mean, 10,000 is... That's big. Well, it is. That, that, that warehouse for New England Valve is only 11,000. Now, CVS is 14. You can drive a tractor trailer in and turn around on the inside. Is that big? CVS is what? 14.7. What, a main, a regular CVS store? Regular C the CVS in Colchester, I'll guarantee you the 14.7. Maybe it's 15,000 that they're not exceeding. Uh, are we hurting ourselves by keeping it at 10? That's what I'm wondering. I don't know. Well, it only affects the facade, right? Or, or as a, oh, an individual building, you said. Yeah, you know, we're we're not going to get a. Maybe it's not a bad thing, but we're not going to get a CVS or a Walgreens or anything. And that you know that that chain commercial tends to be. Well, okay, so this is in the half acre zone anyway, right? So it's only uh, twenty something thousand square feet of lot. Yeah, but if you have a bigger lot, so your you, know, you can, you know, think about the gristmill back lot. In back of the group. Well, yeah, but I mean, you're not, you, got, you don't have a half acre then. You got way more. I'm just saying. Right. If you actually have a half acre lot, 
You only have 20. So, so let's, let's say a meteorite hits Nathan Hill Plaza tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> so there, now all of a sudden, you know, it happens. Now all of a sudden, you have a whole new redevelopment part there. Do you want that to be one big lump building covering 20%? Or do you want it to be a series of buildings that make it look like... Okay. Uh, so, I, I, you know, I, I, I personally vote for the one big one with a, with a facade that we can get the idea that it's not one giant one. You, you can change it. What I don't like about the 10-foot alleyways is they become trash pits. And they're kind right? of useless. They're dark, they're damp, and you can't grow anything. At they're it. paved, so, probably. Yeah, they're paved. And they're paved once. And only once. <laughs> <laughs> So when we talk about 10,000 square feet or whatever it is, are we talking about specific dimensions? Like 500 feet, 20 feet deep? That's 10,000 square feet. Yeah, no. Well, how, how large was the proposed uh, pharmacy, the new pharmacy? You're saying no, but you have to. Don't know yet. Don't you have to say? Whether it's well, 10,000 feet is. Yeah. I don't know. Sure, it's going to yeah. be yeah. size. It's going to be like 80, 80 foot yeah. bag. Yeah. Yeah, that's a pretty, that's no half acre lot. So, what is because you, 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 you know, when we talk about things that went wrong in the back, it is that the Nathan Hale Plaza has got to be past 10,000 square feet. Right. It just happens to be only 60 feet deep and probably 140 long. And it's one single. The facade makes it look like just several stories. No, no, it don't. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I don't think we're. You know, I know what you're talking about is you're talking about you know this part of the portion of the building's two and a half stories. This portion's no, one I'm, and a half. I'm talking about all could be the same, but this portion has blue cladding and then has a separation mm -hmm. of some vertical architectural feature that makes it look like a separate building, and the next one has yellow and brown side. Yeah, the, yeah I've seen you know, big buildings split like, like that. Don't tell that it's like that. It's one giant room, and you know, one's a western, one's a this, one's a that. Jim, follow through on that meteor. <laughs> <laughs> if it hits, though, it's going to get my house, too. I was just so going to say, just so it's going to get your house. So right? you clear that t entire lot. Yeah. Now we're going to build a building that's set back from the road, uh, and it's 10,000 square feet. Is that enough there? How big is that lot? And That's way more than half. And we're talking it. about footprint oh, yeah. here. We're not talking about a second floor. You know, this is a big building, right? Yeah. You could put a big building in that for twenty yeah. percent coverage. I mean, I, you know, Nathan Hill Plaza is, is you know bad nineteen seventies design, but if it was turned sideways, it wouldn't be nearly as bad as it is. Right, right, exactly. But and it's and over ten thousand feet. Ten yes, thousand square 10, feet. Right. Yeah. That's over ten thousand in there? That's what he's saying. I think so. Yeah. So if your Walgreens is fourteen, uh, would fifteen be more appropriate? I think fifteen is more appropriate. Right. Could we put ten thousand, but more on approval for what it might be, or then that's spot zoning? Yeah. Well, I think you know the it's only the largest lots, or unless somebody decides to buy two or three and knock things down and put them back together right. again, it's a bigger lot down the road. But can we get Mr. Kasman's opinion? Let's see what he thinks. Um, well, basically, I mean, Chris Mill is is twelve acres of land. Uh, you know the. Basically, I would say that 15 is certainly more appropriate. Um, and I also like the idea of basically building a larger building and doing it with the facade. That's the way it looks the best, I, I, I would think. And uh, that we, you want to use a bigger building. But you're going to be safe with architectural. You're going to have you be able to control it with the architect, and we're going to see what it looks like. Mm -hmm. And if it looks good, you know, as one building, so if it's 30,000 square feet, but, you know, then you only got one place you can put it. I mean, Chris Mill is the only lot you can put that on. I mean, basically, the Buddhist pizza, I mean, that's five acres. So, you know, you're you're typically not going to, and I can't believe for marketing you would be able to utilize that much space anyway. But uh, I would go with 15,000 square feet. I think that would be, you'd be safe and... Boy, wouldn't we like to see a few 15,000 square foot building, brand new buildings put up up there. Yeah. So, but facing the road. Facing the road. Right. Yeah, that's what you want to do here. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so, are you, 
people happy with 15,000? I'm good. Everybody can. That's the footprint. Footprint. Right. Yes, the footprint, but that can so still go they, up. They could double the size. They're up to 45. So do you have an example of a building that you can pull out of your head uh, that has Jim, this you think you might be able to find a broken facade? Building that we could, yeah, a picture of it? It's up in the Way Mountains, and there's a hotel that's like that. Yeah, I, I haven't yeah, been there. Like, <laughs> around here, I think the new development going up in Colchester, no, I'm sorry, East Hampton, um, near Marlboro Line. I think that has a couple of good sized buildings that might be broken facade wise. Yeah. It's not a strip mall, is it? it? No. No. I mean, it could be. You know, in theory, it could be. But, yeah. You know, we're, we're going to encourage or, or require two stories, so that kind of takes the strip mall, strip mall out of it. I mean, in some ways, we're almost looking to put a strip mall back in just. Yeah, but it's one building. Yeah. yeah. Some of it is, some others are broken yeah. out, but there's there's there are large areas that are still in those stories. Mostly residential shops. Yeah. You can check it out. Yeah, Evergreen. That's, that's a good example around here. Uh, I, why are we even putting a, a, a maximum in there? What, what's the purpose? What, what are we trying to protect that? I mean, I think let the architects come in with uh, what they think is appropriate for the site. Uh, you know, this idea of, of saying you can only have 10,000 or 15,000 or 20,000. I don't see what's the purpose of it. But let, let's let the architects go to work and come back with something you like architecturally and, and not even put in a, a maximum amount of square footage. You're giving them basically the box that they got to work in. Let's see what they can come up with. And, uh, and then I think you get the guidance with, uh, with, with architecture. But do we want to allow a big box store in? I mean, if you don't put a minimum on it, uh, you know, a maximum on it, who knows what we could end up with on that side? Good point. I mean, what is our town ma uh, maximum square footage? What prevents um, the um, shag bark from growing? 10,000. Well, no, it, 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 they can grow, but that we have 10,000 as a single building. Okay, so that's what I thought. Single building's at 10,000, so you have that. That breakup, so it doesn't become all of a sudden overnight one right. 300 by 600 square foot building. And know. I think that's what everyone was trying to prevent. That was exactly when we did that. You know, we, mm -hmm. we spent years, years going through that process, and that was a big component of it of making sure that it was something more similar to the size of the structures that are nearby. I mean, we do have some grand structures. But we don't have them that are that, you know, the monstrous ones. I'm thinking of a town fair tire or uh, uh, the, the, what's the yeah, one of those? Uh, what size of building would that be? Like the one in East Hampton is probably maybe. Yeah, maybe. Like that, the old axle rods up there. Well, axle rods is gigantic. Yeah. yeah. You open the door like that, and you know you never know what you're going to well, get. Well, let's put a limit and then worry about it later. I mean, we already said no automotive. We have some. No, but he's just saying what's the size. The, for the, the, so you're looking for an example of the size. Bob, if, if you want, I mean, to go flag height building. I mean, basically, there is it's a ten thousand dollar addition on that twenty two thousand square foot building. Um, so back to the original building. Yeah. Um, you know, it's it's like twenty thousand square feet. The original is twenty two thousand. And then they added 10,000. Yeah. 10, and the original building was big. Oh, I know. I worked in there for years. See, it seems like we have an industrial piece to our, to our uh, main commercial area here. You know, the back side of, of Grist Mill could be conducive to some pretty large uh, uh, buildings and businesses, which is uh, something I guess you want. As long as it's not in uh, the focal point of the main area. Well, it's just that some of the chain stores, like the big pharmacies, CVS and, Wal and Walgreens and all the rest, those are some pretty good-sized buildings. I mean, they're just pharmacies, and that, I'm, I'm sure they're not 
waiting in line to get into Moody's, but I mean, those are big. Buildings. But they also want to be out front too. Right. Yeah. On the road. Okay. Yeah, they right. They, let's say the plaza. It was up for sale, and they bought it and wanted to plop a building. It would be a monster. Yeah. Relative to what we're used to seeing. Well, you know, Rich is saying fifteen thousand square feet. What's the size of Dollar General's? What is the size of that coming in? Um, do you remember, Jim? I'm sure they come Close. in different sizes. Yeah, they they, but seven, but they seven to nine. Here. Seven to nine is the typical. Seven to nine. Oh. Seven to nine thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So okay. That's the hotel. That's one hotel. Oh, okay. All right. So let's do it. That's a different take, huh? Yeah. How do you write those regulations? Yeah. Did you have a picture that you can email to me or so I can send it to everybody? Okay. <laughs> what, what is that? Is that Vermont or? No, Conway, New Hampshire. New Hampshire? You were just up there. Yeah. You were actually thinking about this place when you, when you were up there and took the oh, picture? All the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I went. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was there. I Googled Hotel Conway, New Hampshire. There we go. He charged the town for his trip. <laughs> <laughs> Professional expenses. <laughs> Bump my head. <laughs> okay, so um, are we going to set, we want to think about the 15,000? Well, we're at ten, right? We've always been. We're there. at ten. Well, actually, no. This this is not part of that regulation. So oh, oh, okay, you knew. So that's why it was new, and I. But know, the we talked about in that area was limited to ten. Is that what it was? No, no, no. There was no limit, and that's why it only can. It really can only really apply to the to the core. You know, Correct. because you already have you have brown else so it's sitting at eighty thousand square feet. Yeah, yeah. So you know you. Plus the smaller lots that exist, like even up. Like yeah, this is not, a, we not don't really so much on it. So yeah. lot coverage. Yeah, I don't think uh, there's a lot to concern ourselves with. So what do we want to leave it at, or where would we like to start on? Or do people want to think about it? I'm good with the 15. If everybody's wants that. You know, you have to think about what's going to encourage somebody to build a building. You either have an idea what to put there because it's so much a square foot to rent the home to pay taxes on. But the certain economies go from the 10,000 to the 15,000 to the 20,000. It reduces the square foot cost. It's, it's very hard to judge what people, what's going to attract somebody to build it. Thank you. What's going to attract them is being able to have multi levels of rental space. How much do we want to give them? Yeah, but that's, yeah, that's hard. You know, the, hopefully we'll be there. Someday. Let's think about it and uh, revisit it. People think about it. Look, try and look up some buildings. And uh, I want to look at that picture that you took on your vacation. No, I think indirectly, uh, Lou raises a good point. When, when some business is looking to build a large building, they're not thinking about residential property upstairs. Or this is a this is a commercial real co estate. big commercial building that has a, a sole purpose of selling whatever. And uh, so, when you get to the larger numbers, I think you're, you're going to just start to attract very specific businesses like tractor supply and single use building. Yeah. You know, and they're not they're not thinking about residential overhead and, you know, uh, su second floor residential and, or anything. And That's, that that comes a component cuz I think I heard it for the first time. Do you want it to be on all new structures required mm -hmm. second floor occupancy? And I have to add that to the list for the core. I think I think I'd really like to see some vertical. You know, that, that will help with, you're not going to get a village feel and you're not going to calm traffic with a single. So you're saying building. residential or light or business. Or professional. Yeah. Upstairs. Second floor. 
Now, going on what you were saying, Bernie, is that type of business what we want to attract? And do you want to attract a supply in, in, in this area? No, I don't think so. No. So, you know, that's... Yeah. You know, okay. Bernie brings up a good point. We, if it's 15, CVS has no interest in doing a second floor. It's, Correct. They're kit buildings. They're erector sets are coming. Yes, well, it's like uh, Dollar General. Yeah. They, they have a specific mo mo yeah, mold, and they're, they're not going to change it. Um, but then again... Um, the, the, the pharmacy who wants to build, his, it's a different, right. he, you know, he can do what he, right. he has a different business model. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. see, uh, the, 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 you know, when we do have to be careful, that's a real good point, you know, if, if we make it attractive to a Walgreens or a CVS, I mean, they literally put the building on a truck and ship it out. And eventually they will come because this town will grow. It's just a matter of maybe not now or in 10 years, but 15 years, 20 years down the road. You know, you are going to have over 10,000 people in this town. But, you know, thinking about that, that becomes like an anchor store to the area also. So that will bring people in to support the ancillary shops and retail trips. That's something to think about. What's that? Something to think about. Yes. Yes. Okay, we'll revisit it. Where are we off to next? Or that was it, right? Well, was there any uses that, I mean, I looked at other places and uses are pretty vague everywhere. You know, as far as you can't that, list everything. You can't list everything. Correct. But did I forget anything that just sticks out? If not, we'll keep on moving. It's well, how can you how can you cover yourself for that then? Well, I mean, that's, that's like when you say things like retail. <laughs> You're good, you know I mean? It just covers the whole... You know, whole slew of things. Just saying, like real estate office, you know, financial. It covers all a whole slew of things. Yeah, like we did. We have this bicycle shop or something, but right. we don't need to. It's retail. No, because it's retail. Right. Right. So this this updated thing will be at our next meeting, and we can. Well, we'll see how far we go the rest of the night. Yeah, a good try. I don't want to push it, Jim, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> I want another book tomorrow. <laughs> Do we have a busy next meeting? We have uh, three public hearings. Okay. Not having a look at those. So. Yeah, not that it's overwhelming stuff, you know, but each is... got the event and then you got the holdover for the accessory apartment and then you got the two lots on one building thing. We got the building or two two buildings on one lot. Mr. Cass, Bob, just just a pipe right in. This is an informal I know it's a public it's it, it is a, it's not a public hearing, it's just a, it's a working it's a working session, please. I was wondering whether have you established what is going to be the core and what is the outside core? Yeah, take a look at the map yes. with the white. Go to the second to the last map. Yep. Okay, I guess the white and what what that what is that going to be your core? That's what we're looking into the This is what he sent us, the email he sent us. That's the yeah. yeah. Then he handed another one out when he got here. Okay, so you're going down as far as 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven, okay. And across from the park. We're also going to include the, well, depending on the, uh, how it was left, the uh, property across from 7-Eleven also, that embankment. I'm not sure how that was left. <laughs> have to look I mean, at the D. It was so long he's ago. Gonna, he's going to research it. Yeah. You're going up WF Palmer's got two of the vacant lots that they're talking about for the pharmacy. Correct. And, uh, yeah. yes. and then across the road to the driveway from the senior. And then it goes across the back of basically the... Go ahead, pick a look. The vacant lot. That's the same thing. I have spent a... Right. Yes. Okay. That's the, you know, the main commercial area. Yeah, I think that's pretty much what we discussed in the first meeting. Yeah, you, yeah. Yeah, I have printed that. So. Okay, what else do we have? Bulk requirements for the, the main thing. Oh, oh. 
You from What is the current variable with the building? Oh, I to they they had varying. They had like they gave you a slash five to ten, some sections. So. And do you know how far grist mill is from? Grist mill is about thirty line? feet from the property line, not from the street. That's the problem because the street's wide. I can, bring that, I can bring that map on. Where's the street line? I can get that map right let's, now. Let's make sure we're talking the same definition. Yeah, let's. The street line is the property line. The okay. Road is okay. Right. Yeah. So, so it's 30 feet from the, the property. Line. I can actually get that. Street yeah. line being. I think it's the property. It's pretty damn close. Yeah. Yes. So I'm find that an objective setback if we make the parking deeper than that. Right? Mm hmm. You know, make the parking 35, we just force it behind the building. Would that work to our advantage for parking on the street? Parking on the street is not in your street, is not in your building setback. That's parking on No, the I know. But would this help? I mean, okay. How far would you want the buildings to be? So that's why I'm wondering how far that is. That one is. I don't find that one all that bad. I'd like to see. It's pretty close. Yeah. Some, you know, it'd be nice if, if, you know, somebody else came in and, and did like a, you know, sitting plaza or something there, but it's still not that bad. If we put a second story on that, it's getting taller. Then, who knows how they built it? Was that the original building, or did they? That's the original office. Okay. Uh, they probably is. Yeah. They'd have to redo it all. You know, the next building coming in. It's got yeah. Four faces. Yeah. Because that's where all the storage is. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. So are you saying thirty feet is is within the working? Probably. Yeah. Okay. Well, Ian, much closer. I think we're starting to preclude. The ability to do a you know, outdoor sitting or something up front with, you know, some yeah. Okay, I see what you're looking at. It yeah. won't be able to be in the street line. Yeah. That's you're not good. looking for like a deep river where you have the sidewalk and the buildings right there and people park. That's awfully close. That's one part of Main Street, and then it widens up a little farther. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. How do you address how do you address areas like where Sunny yeah. Buns is in that slope that, that hill that goes down? The old oh. bank. Uh, well, we can't. We we hope the meteor bounces off. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you, you know the first design for the building on that on that bank was Muda Savings. His first design was uh, the bank on the lower level and on the wow. upper level. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Built into the corner. Yeah. Yeah. Really? And then they decided to go up the road and build that. Yeah. Up by the... Um, right on the corner where, what was Chester Bank, that yeah. building there, and now Sunny Buns or whatever it is. That's but how it was set up. Which start. is closed. But you'd access it. It would be on that corner. You could right? access it. Access it, it, it the way the it was set up is to be accessed right off the main road, right off the road. It, was a, it looked good. And, and then also from in the parking lot, you could... Go inside so it. You could do like a day, like forty feet deep on the, on the road. Well, that's one of the things that could be done. I mean, you almost can get a three-story thing going into the embankment, going mm -hmm. down uh, toward the uh, barbecue. Mm -hmm. The closest. Yeah, we were talking corner, about that. Closest corner is uh, thirty feet from the property line. But I think this is another one that maybe we want to think about in driving the area, right? If we do 30 feet, that's great for Grismal, but it stinks for that hill. Right? Oh. We're going to take out 30 feet of the hill. No, yeah, no, 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 no. But if the, you don't set it back in front. The hill, the hill, their frontage is, is, the, is the side road. You're talking the hilltop? Yeah. Yeah, their frontage. No, sunny right. buns. No, 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 no. We're, we're talking about, oh. yeah, if you built into the hill off the main. Oh. Drag. How gotcha. far back would you be? You know? Gotcha. Yep. Gotcha. It would end up being with saying that would be built off. There would be three so stories. Be, so right. one story is off yes. the upper. Like I like yeah. this idea. What water line is that? Hmm? What water line is that? Drain. That's, that's probably a drain. drainage. That's oh, it's a, oh, that's that's a drain. Looking at no, it. that's a drain. Oh, I don't have no idea where that water line is. There's no water line there. Is there a power line? There's no water line there. There's no power line there. 
Yeah. Power lines over here. No, the, no. Unless at one time they, they supplied water to somebody. Whoops. Back at the, I was going to say before my time. <laughs> well, or, or after when they had the gasoline, then they might have piped it elsewhere for a while. It goes right in the middle of the middle of uh, Richmond Road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are we looking at here? Oh, Just, one. Yeah, I, I, I'd ignore no, that. I mean, <laughs> but here's here's the front of the building at Gristmill, you know, where the, the front is. And the closest, you know, it's 30, 32, 35. What's the, what's the, it's on the an angle. date of that map? This is uh this is when they you know when two thousand two thousand ninety eight I think ninety nine. That's when Chris Mill was done. Probably not. Mm -hmm. Really? No, that's not when it was done. Well, no wonder apartments. It, that's a Dutch map. So <laughs> oh, okay. That was when Dutch did his building. Yeah. He, oh, okay. So he generated, but I'm sure that's an existing map that's been around for a while. Yeah. But that's where the old building used to be. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that's, so they didn't really change that. That was full base. No, they didn't move it or anything, no, did they? No, 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 no that no, was the original office. Yeah. So you're saying this point right here was 30 feet? Uh, oh, 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 that's kind of going to. No, it go, goes in an angle. <laughs> so this was the close. It's, it's all about. A real engineer put set that quick. They put set that line. <laughs> <laughs> Take that screw, man. I would have shown the setback line, yeah. Um, Okay, so does that answer your question? Well, then 30 feet seems reasonable, right? But does it fall off across the road? You make it 30 feet, you have to take 30 feet into that head. But why does it have well, to be you know, consistent? I mean, hey, it's so just, it's just digging. It's for the central business district. It's right? just digging. <laughs> no, I know, but if you have it 30 there, but you know, if you change it on the other side, well, just because of the conditions. Two, well, if, if we make it 30 foot bill two, it doesn't stop from being going closer. I mean, I've done, don't put a setback on. you know, where so, that bank building is, it's all dirt. You, they could just dig in and do that. And, okay. and to make it usable off that main drag and off of sidewalks and stuff there, you need to, you so, got to be back some. Yeah, so, so you don't want to go back to Oh, no, 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 well, not 100. So one of the ways that I'm doing the job. Simsbury addressed it is they had a, they had a, a minimum of and a maximum of. So they, you know, had a, a minimum, and so let's say we said 15 and a maximum of 30. Yeah. You know, that would give you the flexibility. That would be good, because then if you had a sidewalk, then you could have the storefronts right on the other side of the sidewalk. Correct. And if someone had the one that was a 30-foot setback, then they could have the outdoor dining, right, right. but then, and it could almost... And that's not that big a thing. But you, right. you, 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 you do want the 30, side. because if you're going to include, like, sidewalks are set back off the edge of the well, curb, the, uh, the right. but they're in the street line? The sidewalks are inside. They're the states. They're in the street. States or, or, the, or the town. Okay. Right. So then you only have 30 feet for landscaping and outdoor dining or whatever else right, you're going to have. It's not a lot. Do, you know, so let's, you know, looking at that hill, do we need landscaping there or do we need the building there? Building. You know, we, we don't need, okay. uh, you know, the giant green strip. You know, no, I, I'm not thinking a ton of landscaping. I'd like to see Gristmill take out their landscaping and put in, you know, a plaza. Right? Once this gets going, yeah. you go sit there and watch the cars go slowly by. <laughs> <laughs> we hope. <laughs> we could really use some, some conceptual We could. We, we will eventually. We, we need that to get the grant applications to yeah. fix 149. Right. right. Yeah. In trying to visualize. What else do you need, Jim? Well, I think that if we go minimum max, that also get, deals with your build two line because you know, that's it. So it takes care of that. Um, so we're going we, 15 to 30? Yeah, let's, let's, uh, I, I draft that and let's, let's yep. drive and look at it. Drive and look at it, yep. Let's get out and face it. Bernie Sue, are it. you okay with that? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. No, I, I'm wondering what the attraction of Simsbury is. I'm sorry. They, they spent a, a considerable amount of time breaking it up into multiple zones. That's why, I, I mean, if you got to look at it, it's just that they had the same thing. They had a older village that they said, hey, if we don't, design it now somebody will design it for us mm -hmm. so they took the you know the, the bull by the horns and they broke it out into multiples so this is their regulations not what exists on the ground right it's their regulations it's their regulations because yeah. what exists on the ground is not attractive at all <laughs> not to me Where well they I, do I have they uh, as you get further away from the center 
Every time I They've got that. some pretty good buildings. There. I went to Google Earth and drove around. Oh, know, yeah, no, I it's didn't see anything attractive there. They've got some. They've got some potential for some bigger buildings there on the. You know that is. Try, they're they're looking down the road. It, no, you, yeah, okay. You know. So this is their regulations. Right. Yeah, we, right. We got a whole bunch of regulations with the subcommittee. We looked through them. Personally, I thought Simsbury did a good job. Okay. The stuff okay. we want to look at: a billeting line, a parking line that's behind good. that. Good. You know, aspirations for what we want. Okay. I, you know, I kind of tossed out like looking at Deep River or, or Essex because we're not that. Yeah, we can't, yeah. and we never will. We can't go back. No. We're going to please take it down and do something right. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Okay. Bob, do you like the uh, 3015? Yeah, I do. I do. Okay. Because I also like uh, this idea of using those hills because we've got them all over in this building. Yes. And whether it's, you know, the barbecue place, I mean, they got the same situation. Wouldn't it be nice so when we're going down the road, we had a group of stores in there. Yeah. And, and they would give, obviously, the investor the opportunity to build something on the lower level as well as have another building on the upper level. Okay. Two All streets. Of a sudden you've got, uh, it'll look good from the street, it'll be a better investment from the, from the investor standpoint, and I think it looks like a win-win. So I, I really like the idea of being able to do something that maybe Buddha Bank was thought about uh, 50 years oh, ago. Oh, there's a drawing of it. It was yeah. good looking, too. Do yeah. you know where the drawing is? I, I have no idea. That was Any idea? I built it. The well, drawing of what the Buddhist bank, uh, bank wanted to do? Where Chester Bank was, you know, yeah. they had that in from that main, from the from the ground I'd floor, built two that. stories into the hill. No, I never saw nice that. Look. Never saw it. Yeah. It's not in the files, I can tell you that. Uh, you know, That's too bad. I'm sure yeah. I don't have it so anymore, but you weren't dreaming either. I right? mean, yeah, but it would be nice if we made that opportunity available. To yes. Well, for instance, the barbecue restaurant, they have frontage on the little street, but the they have frontage on the main drag, and it can't be used for anything. Right, but if they, if they could even just build you know, a small addition, something small with access up mm -hmm. and a storefront there, people, yeah. you mean, if you're not in the area, you're driving by, you don't know they're there. You're watching oh, the road, totally. they're 30 feet above you. Oh. You could put curbside down there. The curbside. Mm -hmm. So, okay. yeah, I think that's good. The, the parking setback, I think, is, you know, so far maximum is 30, 50, right? Or one. One day beyond, and it just encourages them to go behind the building. Yeah, and that was something that Simsbury didn't do. They're like a 10 feet everywhere. I didn't understand I thought, that. I thought there was a, I don't have my. No, they got a parking location, okay. parking setback line minimum, and it's 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 across. And I'm like, really? What'd you gain out of that? Still in the front yard, mm -hmm. you know? Now, you mentioned the Bill 2 line, and why did you say that that took care of that? For well, me? it took care of that by doing a minimum of 15, which is and a maximum of 30. So that's, oh, you okay. know. Minimum that way you can max. max. Yeah. Okay. yeah. That could actually look very nice if it's done well, planned out. Yeah. Side yard, where are we with that? Anyway? Side yard, we've got a very flexible one there, and it allows the, the ability, you know, to move around <coughs> being flexible what is it right now it's 10 to 40, 10 to 40. and if then there's an asterisk to it you know saying you have to you know okay you got to kind of make it work so you, if, you, if you shove up to one side it's got to be an aggregate of 40 narrowest being 10 feet except that it bounds a residential zone or a town road so, but that, that brings, do we want that do we want the flexibility of 10 to 40 we want 10 feet or we want less we want to let them build almost next to the building next to them. Well, you mean by the time you finish with fire codes and things like that, you mean you 10 can, feet? You, you can, though, do. You could fireproof the building. If you're you could. Honest. Right. What you're thinking is getting them right up next to each other, I'm, right on the property line. I'm not asking. I'm not thinking. I'm no, asking. no. What, what well, for instance, we've got a minimum building size of 1,000 square feet. So, I mean, if you've got one of these small buildings going in in a half acre lot, then they're, they're going to be. They're not going to be right. within 10 feet on each side. That's for damn sure. I mean, I'm just saying. Is Let's go to that minimum building size. Is, do we want a minimum building size? or will, I mean, I assume we do, but what works? Half acre zone, you got a 100 foot wide lot. Yeah. That's the smallest, probably, you're yeah. going to have. 10%, 10 percent of that is 2,000. Yeah, 10% lot. Yeah, I'm not, you know, not, you know, so. 
Well, I think eventually we want to look at that too, though, right? Do we want a 10% or do we want a four area ratio? Which would allow them to do more. A what ratio? Four area ratio. Your square footage to yeah. area you're building. Then that's how you can control multiple store, how big a multiple store you're building. But on minimum building size, somebody wants to come in and put a cute little antique shop in. Are you going to say no? I'm just saying the minimums changes the, quite a bit of the. You're not going to be 10 feet. <laughs> you could every, be every bit of 40. Well, I, I, so I'm not, you know, I, I'm not thinking of build two side yard. I'm thinking, you know, if they want to, do we want to make them do 40 feet aggregate or okay. you know, if they're, if they want to be right up against their neighbor to keep that street front going or just an alleyway, you know, do we need to, you know, if we get a, a 15 foot alleyway, do we really need 25 feet outside the building? No. I'm just saying, do we want to stick with a thousand square foot minimum, or do we want it more? That's a really small building. Well, I like the ratio you were talking about. Four area ratios. Yeah. I, What's our goal for having something to? I mean, are we looking at you know next meeting wrapping this up or? That's. It'd be great if you wrapped it up. I still got to send it up yeah, to Matt right. Willis. Oh, I know. Right. No, no, I know that. Yeah. Is, is, is that clock right? Nine o'clock? Okay. I don't want to keep everyone. I appreciate everyone coming out on it tonight, too. To, you know, we all could go home and take a look at, you know. Yeah. You know, what a thousand square foot building really looks like if it's retail, commercial, if especially if it's two story, it'll look like a, a postal stamp. Yeah. I was wondering really what Bob thinks on that one. No, I think it should be more. It should be probably 2,000 minimum. Okay. That's one thing behind. Because right now there's question marks there. Yeah. I think 50 for parking lot setback, right? That's what I thought. Did we decide on that? That doesn't preclude street parking. That does No, street parking is going to be on DOC. So it's not yours. And that shouldn't be hard to get granted from them, should it? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you notice how I asked that? Yeah. It should not. Will it be? Eh. Okay. Maybe. What do you um, know? <laughs> I, I know a lot. But well, the, put it this way. The Connecticut old mood us a lot for what yes, they did. You know, and, I did and, and we have to pursue that. we, we got to get that master plan, and that's our, that's our pitch. You Correct. You guys did this to us. You've got to help us fix it. And, Correct. You know, we really think well, we know. got shot down on the financing, so we never even made it to the second round. So. Right. That's because we really need that master plan to take this to the next. Correct. Correct. Okay. And sell to the investors. So that's the, that's the, that comes later. Right. Oh, I mean, the master plan, if we start a master plan, we can start generating some interest. That even strengthens our case to DOC. Mm -hmm. Look, you know, we got people who want to come. You killed us for 50 years. You got to do this. And then you're still three years out from getting it done. Also, right. I'm actually putting it around. Right. Back to the, I hate to kill it, but back to the minimum building size. It, it, Bob's mentioning maybe we should go to 2,000 because 1,000 seems small. No, I don't know. Just to check off another box. Uh, what does everybody think about that? I mean, yeah. 2,000? For minimum? I'm, I'm good with it. I mean, I'm just asking. Well, you know. And that's just the... Footprint. I don't have a concept yes. for this. Mm -hmm. that's no, that, that's my, I can't visualize it. I mean, each yeah. lot's going to be different. So let me just, I'll go and go up the street and give you the building's footprints of what's there now on WF Palmer because they're, okay. Okay. That helps. I'll, I'll, would, I'll email that. Visual learner. It may be a business where a thousand square feet is appropriate for that business. Yeah. I, I think what we might. That's what I'm thinking. You know, I, I, I understand. I like 2,000, but you know maybe it's a floor area ratio that forces them to to make a building that has some mass to the lot. So we don't get a thousand square foot on Christmas. Yeah. You know. But if it's a half acre, a thousand square foot might be big enough. Well, it'll look a lot bigger on a half acre lot, but you know right, some of that, the ones. That's how you cover the floor area. Well, for instance, Dutch's vacant lot up there that he's got grassed in right now, I mean, that's a pretty sizable lot. He's going to build something bigger than that if he ever builds something there. Where the trees are? Yeah. 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 I mean, that's a vacant lot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But that's not half acre. I don't know what that is. That's Where are we, Jim? Bruce Dutch is right in front of his 
building up on uh, Farm. Well, they used to have the Easter egg hunt, so now he's got the, he's growing the trees? Yeah, trees, yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's a tax break on that, right? Well, yeah. Probably Eventually. Eight years. Is that what it takes? Yeah, now that does, yeah. That's what they say, eight years to maturity. Okay, so we still haven't figured out what we want to do there. Do we want to get into the other one, which was two two last ones I have. One Go was percentage of glass. What was that? Percentage of glass. Did you see how they, they had a ratio? Yeah, I like it, but I got to study it again. Okay. This and, is uh, Simsbury, right? And other towns, not other, just Simsbury. Percentage of glass. Yeah, percentage. They, they, don't, they just don't want to see a wall. Right. They just said, that's it. No, it doesn't look like anything. It's a wall. Right. right. Either glass or solid. Yeah. Like either one. They want, they want to know. They call it transparency. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, the old stores used to have a lot of glass in them, you know. They did. They and it did. looked nice. Yeah. Remember the original pizza? Yeah. But, but you know, those huge want, windows in front. Manhattan, right? Just glass. Right. right. That's not... No. And the Never second one is, is our building height. <laughs> building height? Yeah, our building height right now is uh, 30 no. feet at grade plane. Now, if you're talking about a... Yeah, that's shallow. So you were going to check with the fire marshal to find out how high you can go. Well, we can go any... We, we, have, a, we, have, a, we have a ladder truck now. And we already it, have three-story three three buildings in Mudas. So. Yeah, so do we... can. Bob, you can answer this question because if the first floor in a commercial, it's not going to be eight feet. It's going to be a ten or twelve. Fourteen. 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 So then the second floor. It's going to be a minimum of twelve. You're not going to build less than twelve. And then you're already two feet out of the ground to start because you know you're eighteen inches, but you'll say two for discussion. So we're now at fourteen, and then that second story comes on there, and then you have the picture of the roof. Of a larger building, do we look at you know for this zone thirty five for mean roof? Is that a you know number forty? Yeah, because you know what everybody makes it up with their roof pitch, and that's what makes these buildings so damn yeah, ugly sometimes. Look good. I know. Right, I mean, Jesus, and I'd know. rather see a it's good. It's New roof. England. You need you know. I'd rather see a good roof pitch than flat roofs. Oh yeah, yeah. And it's also architectural, and you can work. With Yes. Yeah, they put a reformer on it or whatever. Yeah. Well, we're out of the uh, Connecticut River Gateway Commission, so we don't have to worry about that 35 foot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. Is 40? Okay. Come again? 40 feet. Yeah, I mean, if we're, if we're, if we're talking about. He's, but he, each one, he said, each one will be an individual review. So yeah. let's say. Let's say somebody decides that on the hilltop barbecue that they want to go two and a half, three stories, and there's no access to anything except looking over the Moodus River, which he's all of a sudden looking at that right, steep right, bank. Right. Then he says, no. Okay. Yeah. You know, but if you're a flat and you've got access all the way around, okay. Yeah, you, swing, you can swing a lot. Yeah. Rhea. Yeah. But yeah, that's a good example. Of the, yeah, because you can't get to that backside. Yeah, it's like good. when we were looking at the development. You, you brought that up. Well, I'm, I'm also concerned that, okay, you know, the building's 30 feet back with a pit roof and it's 40 feet. Can a ladder swing to get to there, too, is what you got to check. Yeah. So if he's going to look at each one, that's good enough. Okay. Well, what happens when you start building into the bank? I mean, exactly. that's a different thing because, for instance, uh, you're, it, let's just say, take the hilltop, for example, if you were two stories into the embankment and one story up above from the Upper side, it's a one-story building. From the below, it's a two-story. I mean, those are manageable from fires. And, and a lot of the times, it really just comes down to an egress dormer yeah. on the exposed side. I mean, I had somebody on the lake wanted to fight me, Cat and Doug, and, and it was actually Don's father, who was a fire chief at the time. He had that big drop-off on the lake. And all he had in front was a single story with a very long roof, but on the back side... It just went forever. You couldn't get a ladder. And we didn't know truck then. I said, you got to put dormers on the bedrooms in the front. I am not doing that. Oh. Okay. This will sit here till the fire marshal signs it. <laughs> 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 hey, 
There's dormers on that building now. <laughs> <laughs> want to make it work. The yeah. The words are life safety issues. Thank you. What do you want me to change? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Okay. What's left? Well, that, that high thing. Are we, where, where are we? Forty. Forty. Forty, and I'll draw a diagram. Okay. Good. I'd like to know what um, the Moss's buildings, what their heights are on Plains Road. Oh, the old ones? Oh, the old ones are up there. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I mean, because you, you, you try to keep architecturally, you know, so people are driving around, it, you know, it's, oh, that's high, but then again, it's already an established height that we have. I know Fowler House, the peak has got to be way up there, but I know that's just or, ornamental, but, you gotta but maintain it is it. there. <laughs> you know, if you start to think, do you know where... Where the no. Fowler House is? Where, what are we talking about? What Fowler House is, if you're at the Embassy Day House, it's directly across the green from it. It's where the... Um, right next to the Board of Ed, old Board of Ed. Yeah, Ed. the old Board of yeah, Ed. Is it on the corner? Building. The white Just, one on the no, corner? No, it's the one right next to it. The, the, the next one, the second yeah. one. Yeah, that's at the round corner. What do you call that? It's the Fowler House. The Fowler House. Yeah. Okay. They took their barn down? Yeah, it fell, unfortunately. Which, that was a beautiful, huge barn. That's three stories. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it is. With that roof that spirals even higher. That's it's almost a, a four story. It's a Victorian on the corner. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then you look at the, what Moss and Sutton owns, those two apartment buildings. Those are way up there. So it's not like we're, we're, a stab, we're, we're setting a new height. The heights are already sort of there. Yeah. Not necessarily in the neighborhood, but around the corner. You know, when you start to think about it, it, it it's already sort of kind of there that we're allowing so the usage if that helps you know you know, the in the decision if, if under ideal conditions what's how hard could the online reach i don't know i'll find out i think 40 is a good height though three stories we, we may be able to be flexible but special exception if, if the fire department can get in there you may allow 45 feet Stuff to think about. Yeah, for a nice roof line. Yeah. To make it look, that's a good point. <laughs> Depending on how ornate or how Victorian someone might want to go. Yeah, but, right. But I mean, the cupolas and things like that don't count. Correct. What was that? The cupolas don't count to the overall Well, they do, though. No, we, we get an exception for that. We do? We, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, I couldn't remember. Yeah, we just changed it. Yeah. I have to remember because Gateway, they do. Yeah. And now they're cha trying to change it, right? Yeah, we did change it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I thought it was mean roof height. No. No. Still, yeah. Yeah. no, actually, I think I they, they do. They, they, they did, did now, but. They excluded it. The lowest spot on your frontage of the building? Yeah. Remember, we talked about that. Like, you can't fill in the swale, but don't build on top of it. We don't have to worry about that here. No. no, no, we don't have to worry about any of that here. So there's no Moodus Gateway, Moodus River Gateway Commission. <laughs> Even though some people would like to see it. Okay, what else? Did we cover it all? Well, with all this additional building, um, how are we going to deal with septic? That's a lot by lot situation. Yep, yeah. that it is. It's, you know, I mean, I can, Jim and I could probably say that. With the newer septic systems, maybe we've got a one third reduction, you know, on sizes. Maybe yeah. even a little better. Maybe maybe you know, sixty percent. They're getting so smaller. They're, they're getting much smaller. Um, we did identify certain lots in Moodus that we could possibly use. Yeah, I know we talked about that for pumping. Um, if it, if we have a lot of interest, that might be some. Way we, we might have to go as a town. So to buy, buy that property for? Buy it or rent it or, you know, however, whatever works. You know, yes. Right. You know, because you can still put it in and maybe use the top for hay or something. Am I correct or not? Yeah. I guess it's all about usage. And, uh, What's that? You use the top for parking. Correct. Yeah. Yeah, and also, too, is that, you know, the Moodus lumber has got some great soils. Oh, there we go. It does. Want to get that it's a big yeah. system in now before they build it up? Oh, look where 7 Eleven's bleaching field is. It's across the street where that was a well, gravel right there. Right? Yeah, that, that, that's, that's just a, it's amazing. But yes, I, I, I but yes that's that. a good question <laughs> about the septic. But well, yes. 
but we have looked at it. And I think if we had decided that we, uh, we did that study when EDC wanted us to look at um, sewer systems at Four Corners and, um, and, in, and Moodus, and that's when we discovered that, yes, we could. And, and most of the places have room for expansion. Right. So if they decide to bust a roof and go yes. up, they have room for expansion but on it. But I, guess it com but I guess it comes down to usage and, you know, yeah. what the yeah. business is going to be. And, you know, yeah. what you know which one's the scariest one? Say it, hairdresser. hairdresser. 200 gallons per seat. Really? Per day. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Is that the same as Barber? No. 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 No, no Barber's a lot less. Yeah. You can call yourself a barber. Yeah. Come on, Joe Tesser. Think about it. He washes his hands once, uh, once a, nice, a day. That would be a nice list for that. Joe's is and what their average consumption is. You want that list? I can get you. Can you list. get that? Yeah, it's out of the public health code. Yeah. And you think the, uh, uh, hairdressers are is high on that list? Huh? I know it is. Yeah. They wash their hair every time they go. Every customer gets their hair washed. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. Well, it's been fun. Okay, I guess uh, we're all set. Yep. Okay, set the motion to adjourn. Do I have a second? Any opposed?